Hello, this is Mark Wildman of Wildman Athletica, and today we are going to work on a body weight exercise. This is our sit through leg. The sit through leg is an evolution of our hip drop. Our hip drop has a bent leg, which reduces the length of a lever, and it is our most basic movement. This is a step up from that. We are going to have a sit through leg. You will notice this as being an exact piece of a bunch of types of get-ups. We're running through breakdown components of the movements of get-ups. For this exercise, we are going to start in our standing position. We are gonna point our feet generally straight ahead. We are going to do our squat all the way down to the bottom. Rest your tricep on your knees. This is just a way to figure out if you're probably gonna end up in the right spot. Extend your arms out. When you rock forward, that is probably the correct distance between your hand and your feet. We want our hand and our feet to make a square. We do not want our hands and our feet to make a rectangle. Keep your knees up here by your wrist. In the beginning, physically touch your knees to your wrist so your brain knows where the end point of the movement is. We are gonna have two hands down for this version of this exercise. We are going to step kick. The first rep, start by moving this leg. It is going to go from pointed this direction to pointed straight out to the side. Pivot that leg. This foot is flat on the ground. This leg is straight. In the beginning, we are going to set our hip all the way down on the ground. This toe is pulled back towards us for the martial version of this. You will see dancers use versions of this exercise where they point their toe. You can do it any way you want. I do it with the toe pulled back towards the knee, presenting the heel, because that's a martial context. This shoulder, just like in our previous versions, we're not gonna let it roll forward. We're gonna roll it back and drive down into the ground to fire that lat. This elbow is straight. When we come back, we're going to step kick. This foot's gonna come all the way back until we're in that square, and then we are gonna to kick to the other side. This leg is flat. You will notice this is essentially the bottom of a pistol squat. This foot is flat on the ground, feet pointed that way. If your feet is pointed some other direction, you can generally have problems. It's easiest just to point this foot straight that way. Hands on the ground, drive that shoulder away from the ear to engage that lat, come back to center. Check each rep that your knee is touching the back of your wrist. Now let's do some at a slightly higher pace. You're gonna notice I exhale when my hip touches the ground, I inhale in the center, and I exhale when my hip touches the ground. Two hands stay flat for this version. Two hands flat. You are gonna feel one hand want to lift up off the ground. It can get light, but keep it flat on the ground. When we are done with this exercise, we are going to bring our feet back. Our feet should continue to be a good squat distance apart, and they should be generally pointed straight ahead. We finish the exercise by standing all the way up. So let's walk through that from standing, get down, heels flat on the ground, rock forward, Let's do three reps on each side, then let's get our heels back on the ground and stand all the way up. Stand all the way up at the top, hips forward, glutes on so your legs are all the way underneath you. When you start the movement, push your hips back, get down to the bottom of our squat. Triceps on the backs of the knees, rock forward, palms flat on the ground. Knees slide down, an inch or two off the ground. Sit through leg, pull the toes towards the kneecap. Hands stay flat on the ground. When you finish your reps, check your distance, push back, heels flat on the ground, lift the chest up, stand all the way up, squeeze the glutes at the top. Like most of these body weight activities, we do this as a time under tension exercise. Usually we start with a 30 second time period and we work to see how many reps we can get in that amount of time. We like to keep data, record the number of reps you are getting 
good reps you are getting with a straight leg. If the leg isn't straight, then I don't know, no rep yourself. Straight leg is the important part for this version of this exercise. Two hands flat on the ground for now.